Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 32. So today, I think I told you we were going to dive into DocuSign. We're going to hold off on that for one more day. I wanted to go through a few more features inside of the Documents tab of Opportunities. Uh, just a couple of nuances where you can start a new checklist, start a new version of a checklist, export documents, and a couple of other things as well. So let's dive back into Opportunities. Sixth icon down, the Handshake icon. And previously, we were working with Mr. Duck here in his listing, and we had gone into Documents. We had talked about how to choose a checklist and then the importance of all of these columns and all of this data. So first thing I want to show you is, what if we chose the wrong checklist? You do have the ability to switch checklist by clicking on this down arrow here, and you can actually then say, oh, I didn't realize that new construction was different from pre-owned. I think we chose new construction. We were supposed to choose pre-owned so I can switch to pre-owned and now I have the new checklist for pre-owned. Maybe it's, oops, uh, I didn't realize that this was a listing for sale for a lot. Uh, apparently that's a little bit different, so let me go into that. And again, remember these checklists may not represent your checklists and yet they're a, you will have your own checklist based upon your brokerage, your market center, your compliance coordinator. So uh, just as just a simple way to show you that you can change the checklist applied to your opportunity after the fact. In addition, let's say you've got this checklist selected, you've gone through, you've loaded all your documents, you've submitted for compliance, you've even been paid, the transaction is closed, but you want to export the documents included in this transaction to either keep a copy for yourself, give a copy to your clients, or both. You do have the ability to export documents by clicking on this up arrow inside of the opportunity. And you'll see this gives you an entirely new window where you can go in and decide a variety of different uh, options with regards to documents, which folder you want, how you want them sent over, um, and so on and so forth. So that basically you can walk through that, learn a little bit more about exporting the documents that are included inside of the opportunity. In addition, you have custom folders. So right now we have three folders for all of our document placeholders listed here. There's the listed folder, there's the under contract folder, and then there's the closed folder. Now let's say I have some specific documents that don't really fit into any of these. This is a pre-owned listing for sale, but let's just say that the homeowner had the original floor plans, maybe the original blueprints, Maybe they have the actual flyer from the builder that had all of the descriptions of everything included when the house was purchased. Those are documents that might be beneficial to hold on to, to have a record of, to uh, use for marketing purposes, <clears throat> but there's not really anywhere I can put them inside of the opportunity unless I come in and create a custom folder. And so when I add a new custom folder, this is where I can put in the name of the folder. So let's just say this is floor plans and I can create the folder. And now I have the ability to come into that folder and add documents to it. So I can click on add document. I can choose what sort of document type it is and then decide from there what sort of notes and where am I gonna bring that document in from. So if it's something that was in DocuSign, some sort of document that needed to be signed but wasn't necessarily a checklist document, I could come in and manually bring that in from DocuSign as well or manually upload it from my hard drive. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is the ability for you to have custom folders, the ability for you to change your checklist. Now let's say we've got this checklist, we went in, we got under contract, we pulled in all the documents for this specific buyer and then the buyer busts out. Well, since these documents have already been submitted to our market center, we can no longer remove them from the placeholder. However, we can start a new version of this checklist, right? The checklist type won't change, but we just need kind of an empty slate, a cleared one with all of the documents from the previous buyer pulled out. In that case, we can click on this down arrow next to under contract, and you'll see that we can add a version. 
So kind of think about this as under contract one, I can add a version and I can even name it. You can see the default name is version two, right? When I create that new version, this completely clears out the checklist. So now I have all of the documents for the next buyer that comes along. I can load in all of their information, their contract, and should they bust, well, I can just come back in and then add a third version if I needed to. So that's your way of not having to lose or rebuild the opportunity. You're just adding additional checklist versions for the new buyer, in this case, on a listing transaction. So that's essentially three additional features of the Documents tab that I sort of wanted to, to go over with you was the ability, well actually four, four features, the ability to choose a different checklist if you choose the wrong one, your ability to export documents, your ability to create and load custom folders for custom documents, and then finally your ability to have separate checklists should a deal bust out. That's it for today, guys. Uh, no challenge on Monday. Please enjoy the 4th of July holiday and the long weekend. I'll be back on Tuesday and look forward to connecting with you then.